Recently, in the last year, a new drug called palbociclib, also known as Ibrantz, was approved on the basis of the fact that on an early study, uh, it showed nearly a doubling of the time before patients' cancers grew again. It was known as time to progression. And it went from about 12 months to over 20 months. And that was a significant improvement, although that was a smaller study with a much larger study still pending. This was the first drug to go through what's called an FDA breakthrough approval, where the FDA actually takes early data that they know has to be reinforced by later data, but it's so compelling that they approve the drug so that it's available to patients. So this drug, Ibrantz, was given an early approval back in February for first-line therapy. So this is patients who are initially diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer. The new standard is now the aromatase inhibitor letrozole, also known as Femara, now with this biological drug called Ibrantz. This is a drug known as a CDK4-6 inhibitor. It inhibits a process in the cell called the cell cycle that's intrinsic for the cell's division. It's necessary for the cell's division, and it's a new class of drugs. In fact, this is the first class of drug approved for this, and uh, it has changed practice. The next study that's going to be presented at ASCO is for second-line therapy. Now, in patients who are getting second-line therapy, one of the commonly used drugs is one called Fulvestrant, also known as Fazlidex, and this study was designed to compare Fazlidex alone to Fazlidex plus Ibrantz, and it showed also a very significant improvement in disease-free survival. In fact, this was a large phase three study, but at the interim analysis, and this is when they analyze a study early just to see if there's a large difference, they actually detected a large enough difference that they recommended stopping the study and actually giving patients on the control arm the ability to switch over to take the experimental drug. So this data uh, has yet to be reviewed by the FDA. Uh, and has yet to be publicly reviewed uh, with comments provided, but it is quite possible that this is now going to change our standard approach for second-line therapy for breast cancer. So this is an important study, uh, Ibrantz with Fazlidex, and uh, we will see how this plays out. But the bottom line is it offers another option for patients. Uh, what we hope to do is be able to delay progression more and more as time goes on with newer drugs. Uh, and we want drugs that have fewer side effects. Ibrantz has much fewer side effects than many other biological drugs that are used in this situation. So uh, this is a step in the right direction. Uh, we want to turn breast cancer into a chronic disease that we can treat with fewer side effects.